All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I even go any further, first of all, you guys in the back, can you uh, hear me? Am I heard back there? Good? Okay. Uh, before we go any further, um, I just want to introduce the, my partner in crime who helped me put this event together as far as this presentation and the presentation you heard earlier, Miss Chrissy Carstens. Please give her a big round of applause. Just look at her. She's the video. I'm the audio. That's the partners in crime. I'm going to begin with a quote that was written by Eric Coleman in Socialnomics magazine. Social media is the biggest revolution since the Industrial Revolution. I guess I'll stand over here so I don't get feedback. Uh, what is social media? First of all, how many people in the room have, know or don't know what social media is? Good, one person. Thank you for being honest. Okay. Oh, you know what it is. Okay. All right. So everybody in the room knows what social media is, but the simple definition of social media is basically networking on the internet versus networking like this. My question to you is, is your business ready for the next revolution? Why social media? Sorry, I'm in people's way. Number one activity on the web. How many people use social media personally? Now my question is, how many people use social media in their business? Oh, good. All right, good. We're moving ahead then. That's good. When you talk about a business growing, the most important thing is the percentage it is growing. The internet traffic is growing at an annual rate of 50 to 60%. Don't you wish your business can grow at 50, 60%? Now, how many people use traditional advertising for their businesses? A couple, okay. Traditional advertising, or the way of traditional advertising, believe it or not, has been diminished tremendously. It is no longer working like it used to. Um, newspaper ads, magazine ads, or flyers, uh, little cards through, your, uh, through the mail, postcards, were traditional ways of advertising. Look at these stats, and if you don't mind, I'm gonna turn around, because I didn't memorize them all. 86% of viewers don't trust traditional advertising anymore. 86%, that's more than three out of four. 24 out of 25 large newspapers experience record declines in circulation. Newspaper advertising is down 18%. 90% of viewers skip ads because of on TiVo and DVR. How many people in this room do that? Okay, I know, I do it, and my son does it. We pause something, go to another channel so we can go back and not watch the commercials. Understand something. Just because it's on TV, just because it's on radio, the traditional ways of advertising doesn't mean it's working, okay? Yellow pages, how many people advertise in the yellow pages? One, two, three, down 39% over the past four years. That's a tremendous decline. That's more than one third. Look at this one. 81% of people receive advice from friends. And believe it or not, out of the 81%, 74% of those same people say that the people that recommended to them their services made an influence on their decision. So that's almost three people out of four that were recommended from someone else used that as an influence on their decision. Social networking is about connecting with people on the web. Yes, we can do this, but if you were doing this seven days a week, you'd be out all day and all night, and believe me, you wouldn't make the impact that social media is making. Now, what I want to say about social networking, about connecting people, how many people remember a Fabergé shampoo ad? I believe it was in the 1970s or the early 80s when they talked about you will tell two people and they will tell two people and so on and so on and exponentially the pictures were growing. Well, believe it or not, 30 years ago, that's what they were talking about, social networking. That's how it happened, by word of mouth. Word of mouth is social networking, only it's on a computer 
instead of coming on someone's mouth. Everyone is hooked into everyone via social media. As far as companies or businesses taking part of their budget and using it towards social media, those that did, 18% increase. Those that didn't, declined by 6%. These are facts, absolute facts of what is going on in business with social media. Now, here's a quote. You can just say it. You can't just say it. You have to get people to say it to each other. Want to see who has said that? That is the chief marketing officer of Ford Motor Company. Understand, it's always been about referrals. But now, instead of you hearing it by someone's voice, you're connected to people through so on and so on and so on. Remember, every single person you connect to on media sites, on social media sites, you're not only connected to them. You're connected to everybody that knows them or likes them, and then you are connected to all those people exponentially. There's no way you can get word of mouth out that quickly. Okay? Impossible. Look at that. Ford Motor Company, the CMO that just gave that quote, they spent a quarter or 25% of their advertising budget on dig digital media. Guess what? They were the only U.S. company not to ask for a loan. They must have been doing something right. Okay, whether you own a Ford or not, they must have been doing something right. Three prominent ways, and there are more, but the three most dominant ways to advertise through social media, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. How many people have a business Facebook account? How many people have a business LinkedIn account? How many people have a business or advertise anywhere on YouTube? Okay, only two of you. Wait until we get to the stats on YouTube. Because YouTube, you say, well, wait a minute, how can I advertise on YouTube? We'll talk about it in a couple of minutes. Again, I didn't memorize these stats, so forgive me for looking back. Facebook is the leading way people connect to one another and the way we receive information. By far, Facebook is the leading social media network. It has passed Google on most visited website on the internet. That is staggering. Because Google, you all know, Google just went public. They're worth billions of dollars because they went public because they're the number one search engine. They are more visited than Google. Look at that. 11% of the world population is on Facebook. Now remember, just because you're on Facebook socially on a personal level, that doesn't mean you can't tap into people on a personal level and then direct them to your business page, okay? Look at these stats. Facebook has over 500 million users that spend 55 minutes a day on Facebook. They spend almost an hour just on Facebook. What do you think they're looking for? They're looking for people to connect to. 300,000, 65 million people get through their smartphones. How many people have a smartphone? Whether you realize this or not, in a couple of years, there will be no regular cell phones. Everything will be a smartphone. Why? There's your stat right there. We don't even use computers to do research anymore. Now we use our smartphones. That's what a smartphone is. To do your business, to do all your personal things, right in the palm of your hand. 300,000 businesses have a presence on Facebook. Believe it or not, of all those businesses, before they interview you, they now look at your personal Facebook to see who you are and what you're about before you even get interviewed and you may not get the job because of something you did on Facebook. That's how powerful Facebook has become that these huge, humongous companies now are going, check out this person on Facebook, see what they're about. This is beyond staggering. Facebook, if it were a country, would be the third largest country in this planet. If that doesn't give you an idea of how big Facebook is, I don't know what will. Check this out. Radio took 38 years to reach 50 million people. Television took 18 years. The internet took four. It took Apple three years to get 50 million people to buy iPods. 
less than 12 months, they hit 200 million people. If that's not great advertising, I don't know what is. LinkedIn. Now, the difference between LinkedIn and Facebook is most people are linked to Facebook through personal. If you're smart enough, you connect the dots and send them to a business page or a business slash personal page and then a pure business page. And believe me, any questions you have tonight on getting on social media, that's the lady you speak to. Speak to Chrissy. She will set up your page. She will link you up like you've never been linked up before. So she's the one to speak to either after, get her number, her card. She's the person that will hook you up. LinkedIn is a lot more professional than Facebook. Facebook, again, because it's personal. There's no personal people on LinkedIn. It's all pure business, okay? 135 35 million people. We already know how big New York City is, 15 times. Look at that. Its membership includes every single company listed on the Fortune 500 list. They're all on social media. Look at the age demographics. How interesting is that? From 18 to 55 plus, look at just 18 to 34. That's more than 50%. How many people have demographics in the room that hit those people? Anywhere from 18 to 34? A couple. How many people hit 35 to 54? Is that the bulk? None of you? I'm talking about your clients. Your clients, how many people hit 35 to 54? I would think the majority. Okay? A third of the people on LinkedIn or of that age group or demographic. Now we're at YouTube. How many people have gone on YouTube at least once? Okay, YouTube is about videos. You turn around and say, oh, excuse me, I'm a dentist. I clean businesses. I'm a real estate agent. What am I going to do on YouTube? I don't, you know, I don't have a music video. No, but remember what you saw before? Our original presentation? Why can't you put that on YouTube? Absolutely could. The original presentation I did, you can put that on your website. How many people have a presentation or a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation on their website? Probably none, right? One. Okay, you're a very savvy young lady. Um, okay, perfect, perfect example. All of these things can go on your website, and what are you doing? You're using modern technology in order to enhance your business. Just some... Again, stats, we don't have to look at this other than this second largest search engine to Google. That's all you need to know. Video is changing the way we look at things. Everything is visual. We don't do things anymore with paper. Everything we view is either television driven, computer driven, YouTube driven. It's all about video. You guys need to come up with videos about your business. It's not that difficult. Okay? Chrissy and I, believe it or not, as a team, can put, the, can te, could, sorry, put, put together a presentation in less than an hour. That's all it takes. You give us the copy. She creates the visual. I do the audio. We talk about it. It's done. That fast. Okay? Look at those stats. An increase of 98% in one year just through the use of video. What this presentation is all about is exactly what that says. Okay? If you do not embrace technology with your business, your business will not be successful down the road or it will decline. Why? Our life and our world is all about technology now. Okay, like I said, if you don't have a smartphone, you're going to have to have a smartphone soon. Okay? Not really anything on there that needs to worth mention other than that. I mean, other than this. Okay? How many people have an answering machine or an answering service in their office? I would hope everybody. Um, if you got a phone message, would you return it? I hope so. Well, if you're on Facebook and you're on LinkedIn, you better have somebody designated to keep up with that because you're not going to be able to as a business owner. You're not. It's just if you do it right, it's going to be a lot more than your phone messages. And you can ask Chrissy after the presentation, since she put this on Facebook, how many hits we got just by putting it on Facebook. Here's it, here it is in a nutshell. We no longer search for content. We don't really, as a business, we shouldn't be searching. 
content should find us. That's what social media is about. You are putting yourself out there so people can find you. Okay? That's what social media is about. Now, I want you somewhere along the way, after this presentation, tomorrow, the next day, the next week, I want you to compare all traditional advertising costs. Do some research. How much it costs to do an ad. How much it costs to go on the yellow pages. How much it costs to do a magazine ad. How much it costs to do these flyers and cards that we gave out. Okay? And then I want you to compare it to social media. Free of charge, people. It's not costing you anything. I thank you for your attention. Please talk to Chrissy about anything to do with social media. Thank you.